The Spetsnaz GRU, the first Spetsnaz force in the Soviet Union, formed in 1949 as the military force of the main intelligence directorate, GRU, the Foreign Military Intelligence Agency of the Soviet Armed Forces. The force was designed in the context of the Cold War to carry out reconnaissance and sabotage against enemy targets in the form of special reconnaissance and direct action attacks. The Spetsnaz GRU inspired additional Spetsnaz forces attached to other Soviet intelligence agencies, such as Vimpel, founded in 1981, and the Alpha Group, established in 1974, both within the KGB. The concept of using special forces tactics and strategies in the Soviet Union was originally proposed by the military theorist Mikhail Svechnikov, who envisaged the development of unconventional warfare capabilities in order to overcome disadvantages that conventional forces faced in the field. Svechnikov was executed during the Great Purge in 1938, but practical implementation of his ideas was begun by Ilya Starinov, dubbed the grandfather of the Spetsnaz. Following the entrance of the Soviet Union into World War II, basic forces dedicated to acts of reconnaissance and sabotage were formed under the supervision of the Second Department of the General Staff of the Soviet Armed Forces, and were subordinate to the commanders of fronts. The primary function of Spetsnaz troops in wartime was infiltration insertion behind enemy lines, either in uniform or civilian clothing, usually well before hostilities are scheduled to begin and once in place, to commit acts of sabotage such as the destruction of vital communications logistics centers, as well as the assassination of key government leaders and military officers. Spetsnaz GRU training included, weapons handling, fast repelling, explosives training, marksmanship, counterterrorism, airborne training, hand-to-hand -hand combat, climbing, alpine rope techniques, diving, underwater combat, emergency medical training, and demolition. In 1922, reconnaissance units were consolidated into a single corps. In 1938 the GRU was established as the main military intelligence agency of the Soviet Union. During World War II the GRU conducted a series of reconnaissance and sabotage operations behind enemy lines. Spetsnaz units were used in long-range reconnaissance operations and sabotage missions against enemy infrastructure. Throughout the Cold War, Spetsnaz GRU was employed in a variety of operations, including intelligence gathering, conducting sabotage operations and carrying out assassination missions. The GRU also played a significant role in the Afghanistan War, where it conducted counterinsurgency and anti-drug trafficking operations. Following the deactivation of the Soviet GRU in 1992, control of the special forces was transferred to the newly formed GU of Russia, and they were maintained within their respective assigned units as before. According to Stanislav Lunev, who defected to the U.S. in 1992, the GRU also commanded around 25,000 Spetsnaz troops as of 1997. After the 2008 Russian military reform, a new directorate of special operations was established in 2009, influenced by studies of American and various Western special operations forces units and commands. The newly formed Special Operations Forces were placed directly under the General Staff, bypassing the GRU. In 2013 the Directorate became the Special Operations Forces Command, with a GRU unit transferring to this new command. In 2010 Spetsnaz GRU units were reassigned to the military districts of the ground forces and were subordinate to the Operational Strategic Commands until 2012, as part of the Defense Minister Anatoly Serdyukov's military reforms. However, this decision was reversed in 2013, and the Spetsnaz GRU units were reassigned back to their original GRU divisions. The situation was reviewed after the war ended, and between 1947 and 1950, the whole of the main intelligence directorate, GRU, was reorganized. The first independent reconnaissance companies of special purpose were formed in 1949 to work for tank and combined arms armies, which were tasked to eliminate amongst others enemy nuclear weapon systems such as the MGR-3 Little John and MGM-1 Matador. In 1922, reconnaissance units were consolidated into a single corps. In 1938 the GRU was established as the main military intelligence agency of the Soviet Union. During World War II the GRU conducted a series of reconnaissance and sabotage operations behind enemy lines. Spetsnaz units were used in long-range reconnaissance operations and sabotage missions against enemy infrastructure. Throughout the Cold War, Spetsnaz GRU was employed in a variety of operations, including intelligence gathering, conducting sabotage operations and carrying out assassination missions. The GRU also played a significant role in the Afghanistan War, where it conducted counterinsurgency and anti-drug trafficking operations. Following the deactivation of the Soviet GRU in 1992, control of the special forces was transferred to the newly formed GU of Russia, and they were maintained within their respective assigned units as before. According to Stanislav Lunev, who defected to the US in 1992, 
The GRU also commanded around 25,000 Spetsnaz troops as of 1997. After the 2008 Russian military reform, a new Directorate of Special Operations was established in 2009, influenced by studies of American and various Western Special Operations Forces units and commands. The newly formed Special Operations Forces were placed directly under the General Staff, bypassing the GRU. In 2013 the Directorate became the Special Operations Forces Command, with a GRU unit transferring to this new command. In 2010 Spetsnaz GRU units were reassigned to the military districts of the ground forces and were subordinate to the Operational Strategic Commands until 2012, as part of the Defense Minister Anatoly Serdyukov's military reforms. However, this decision was reversed in 2013, and the Spetsnaz GRU units were reassigned back to their original GRU divisions. The situation was reviewed after the war ended, and between 1947 and 1950, the whole of the main intelligence directorate, GRU, was reorganized. The first independent reconnaissance companies of special purpose were formed in 1949 to work for tank and combined arms armies, which were tasked to eliminate amongst others enemy nuclear weapon systems such as the MGR-3 Little John and MGM-1 Matador. In 2003 during the Second Chechen War, the GRU formed two ethnic Chechen units known as Special Battalions Vostok and Zapad, which belonged to the Spetsnaz GRU. These units fought primarily in Chechnya, and were also involved in the 2008 Russo-Georgian War and peacekeeping operations after the 2006 Lebanon War. The Spetsnaz GRU also maintained an airborne unit called the Separate Spetsnaz Airborne Reconnaissance Unit, which participated in the 2008 Georgian War. This unit is based in Moscow. During the insurgency in the North Caucasus region, Spetsnaz GRU, along with special forces from the FSB and MVD, conducted numerous special operations and counter-terrorism missions against various terrorist groups, including the Caucasus Emirate and Wilayat al-Qaqaz. After the Crimean crisis and the start of the rebel insurgency by pro-Russian rebels, Ukraine accused various Spetsnaz forces, including the GRU, of supporting the rebels and engaging in ground operations in eastern Ukraine. There were claims that the Spetsnaz GRU was involved in attacks on an airport in Donetsk, which was later captured by the Donetsk People's Republic DPR, during the battle. In late 2015, GRU special forces operators were reportedly involved in the Syrian civil war, participating in government offensives in Aleppo and Homsur GRU officials were also observed visiting Kamishli near the border with Turkey. The main intelligence directorate of the Russian Armed Forces, GRU, played a significant role in the war in Ukraine. According to reports the GRU may have been active in eastern Ukraine as early as mid-March 2014. This was one month before the anti-Kiev rebellion in Donbas fully erupted, suggesting that the GRU was preparing the ground for the insurgency. During President Viktor Yanukovych's tenure, which began in 2010, the GRU intensified its activities in Ukraine. During this period the Ukrainian Security Service SBU, shifted its focus from counter-espionage against Russia to counter-espionage against the United States. This may have provided the GRU with an opportunity to expand its operations in Ukraine without being detected. In March 2014 the SBU arrested the first GRU operative on Ukrainian soil. He was gathering information about Ukrainian military positions on the Chongar Peninsula, north of Crimea. This incident highlighted the active presence of the GRU in Ukraine and its involvement in intelligence activities. In addition to intelligence operations, the GRU was also involved in sabotage actions. A notable example was the explosion of train cars carrying aviation fuel at the Osnova train station. This act of sabotage was likely intended to create problems for Ukrainian military aviation. The GRU not only conducted intelligence and sabotage operations but also trained and provided intelligence to local rebels. Each Spetsnaz GRU group was set up with curators from the Agentura GRU, highlighting the close collaboration between the GRU and the rebels. On some occasions the GRU was forced to engage in direct combat, for example, a GRU officer known as Krivko was injured in the Battle of Sanzarivka in January 2015. This suggests that despite its attempts to avoid direct combat, the GRU sometimes found itself in combat situations. During Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Russia's GRU's role was expanded. President Vladimir Putin has given the GRU a more prominent role in Ukraine, according to Russian security analysts. A notable aspect of the GRU's involvement in the invasion was its use of cyber operations. The GRU has almost certainly been involved in disruptive cyber attacks in Ukraine, including denial-of-service attacks on Ukrainian government websites. 
Additionally, Microsoft has linked the GRU to a wave of cyber attacks in Ukraine, as well as data destruction attacks that plagued Ukraine prior to the Russian invasion in February 2022. However, Russia's invasion of Ukraine did not achieve its main political and military objectives. The war also highlighted mistakes on the part of Russia's FSB, which is said to have misunderstood Ukraine and misled the Kremlin as war approached.